Hello, everyone. Welcome to Mystic Love Tarot. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you are doing well, you are safe, you are healthy wherever you are. This is going to be a big accord reading about the current thoughts and feelings of the person on your mind. So we are going to tap into their energy to know what they feel and think about you and this connection. This is a general and timeless reading. So if something doesn't resonate with you, it could be a message for another individual. It may or may not resonate with you. So please use discernment. And if you like what I do, if you connect with my energy, please don't forget to like, comment, to let me know. I would love to hear from you. And if you are new, don't forget to subscribe. There are plenty of pick a card readings on the channel. So if you are interested, the link to the playlist is given down below. You can click on the link and enjoy the readings. Okay. If you would like to book a personal session with me, all the information is linked down below. We have three groups and um, hearts placed on them as objects. Intuitively choose the heart you are most drawn to. Think about your person, clear your head and then choose your heart. If you would like to choose more than one group, please go ahead and watch it. Okay, there could be a message for you in there. So without further ado, let's begin with your reading. Hello, group one. If you choose the green heart, welcome to your reading. So today we are going to talk about the person on your mind. What are their current thoughts and feelings for you and possibly their future actions? We have justice. Now this is a brilliant start because it talks about karmic justice, fairness and creating a balance. Karma has not yet been served in a particular situation or in this connection. You have not seen or experienced the result or consequences of your actions and this goes for both of you. So maybe you have put in a lot of effort, but did not get proper results. Or if this person disappeared and you have been waiting for an answer for their disappearance, for their absence. So both of you are getting the results on your investment, whether it's positive, negative or something unexpected. It totally depends on our actions, right? So in some form or the other, they are receiving exactly what they are meant to. And it's not something they can control. You know, it's beyond the human understanding of justice. I don't know if you can hear this, but somebody is playing flute uh, on the street. Um, you know, so this is a Lord Krishna consciousness sort of an energy, especially with the flute being played in the background. And if you see here, the scales are at the same level on both sides, which talks about equality. So if they were unfair to you, they are experiencing unjust situations. Maybe they are being mistreated by people um, to sort of balance their actions. Or maybe you were the one trying to make this relationship work while they had a much more casual approach. And now they are going to get serious. You will see a lot more efforts from their end. You know, it's a general reading, but uh, this could also apply to you. Somebody wants to be with you. They are willing to put in the hard work. And you know, they are genuine, but you are either hung up on your ex or you are keeping them as an option. So now you may realize this person truly cares about you. They may not be the ideal type you had in mind, but their love and dedication will speak to you and then you are going to put in the effort to reciprocate their love. You will be fair to them. Maybe after your ex or somebody decides to break your heart again or simply you are going to come to your senses to realize 
you lost the moon while counting the stars. Okay, I'm also getting this energy of forgiveness, honest communication. So they want to openly talk about their feelings or maybe you want to tell them what you are feeling. And for most of you, whoever is on your mind, they want this connection to deepen. If you have not been communicating, um, there are challenges, external factors. They want to find a way to make this work. They want to be with you is basically what I'm trying to say. And the universe is also clearing up the path for you. Okay. For some of you, I'm seeing some sort of uh, legalities has been holding them back. Maybe a divorce proceeding or something about their work. You know, uh, I'm hearing work visa. So maybe they are relocating, moving to a different country or place. Uh, their life seems a bit out of balance at this time. Yeah, this talks about an equal give and take. Not less, not more. A sense of reciprocity, mutual energy. Again, I'm talking about karmic justice. If you have been doing what you're supposed to do for this connection to move forward, your intentions are clear, you don't have doubts, then I think your person will acknowledge, appreciate and put in the same amount of energy. But if you lack clarity, then they will mirror the same energy. They will mirror your energy. You will receive confusion, a lot of doubts from their end. Um, I'm also sensing some sort of difference here with respect to um, your financial status, background, um, career choice, religion, geography, which could be a problem and it's not allowing your person to take action. The issue has already begun or maybe it is going to be an issue in the future. And I feel both of you genuinely need to talk to each other, discuss and resolve your issues because, because you really like each other. I also feel your person is a wonderful human being and they have manifested you in their life. Your past life karma has a huge role to play in your relationship, especially with this person. I don't think they can let you go. They somehow feel they are guided to you. You are their blessing. So this could be your energy or maybe their energy. Or both of you are feeling a sense of disappointment. And this could be related to your past. Something which may have transpired between the two of you. Or this could be a similar experience with somebody from the past. Which is sort of haunting them or maybe um, causing uh, disappointment sadness they certainly miss you a lot more than you know and at some point um, you may have rejected their offer their cup of love all right now i'm getting two scenarios um yeah so you may have said something or your actions let them believe they are not worthy of you or you don't want them um, and the second storyline is when they were ready, you were not. And now when you want to rekindle the spark, their life is a bit complicated. So this seems like a missed opportunity and they are unhappy and dissatisfied about their situation with you. I don't think you are talking to each other, although uh, you are thinking about each other. For someone... This is your energy. There's a need for you to accept this offer from your person because they clearly want more than what you already have. I don't understand what is the reason for this connection to come to a halt. I don't really understand what is the reason for this connection to come to a halt. Uh, you two are having imaginary conversations with each other, but not for real. My goodness. And the universe is telling you to be fair to yourself. If you like them, give them a chance. Don't let your past hold you back. We have the Eight of Wands. Finally, you will see progress. 
swift action being taken. Challenges and obstacles are being removed. Uh, for some of you, they live overseas and they're traveling to see you. Um, and for others, I'm seeing easier communication. You are going to receive a call, a message, an email, or some sort of information, news, from them highlighting their intentions or feelings about this connection, where this is going, what do they want, and they are going to ask you, what do you want? So I think this is going in a positive direction. This could have been a quick romance and you were jumping in and out of the relationship, but now I'm seeing progress. They are moving towards you in full speed. Yes, I think the energies of your past has been affecting forward movement in your connection. But everything is going to come together, okay? Because we have the Emperor. They could be an Aries or a fire sign. And I think they see you in this energy. You are gorgeous, rigid and a bit hard to please. But you are also powerful hard-working, stable, disciplined, and you have self-control. You are everything they want and everything they wish they could be. You are the sort of person who makes his or her own rules and maybe you are not as expressive or romantic as they are. So sometimes it's really difficult for them to understand whether you truly see them as your match or you are merely settling for them. And I feel uh, they also exhibit the energy of the emperor. They are not fickle. They know what they want and they're clear about it. Their feelings have not changed. And they possibly want to get married to you and want to commit to you because this talks about a solid authority. In the original Rider Waite Tarot, the emperor sits on a throne at an elevated position there are mountains in the background, so all kinds of obstacles will be left behind. Uh, for some, they are dealing with somebody who is authoritative, someone in the family or otherwise, and your person is trying to get them on board with what they have planned for you and themselves for the future. We have the Page of Cups. For some of you, they have a child and, and they want their kid to like you. Okay, but there's also this energy of admiration. They have a huge crush on you and may even feel they are in love with you. They are coming with a romantic proposal. They are charming, romantic, sensitive and smitten by you. If they were in this energy of the emperor, a bit rigid or holding themselves back, they are going to be completely different with you. Childlike excitement, wanting to take the leap, a lot of communication, romantic gestures, trying to win you over, be being sweet and kind and extremely thoughtful. So they are going to be in their fields when they return. Yes, I feel they want to surprise you with a present or they want to see you in person. Uh, some sort of a romantic gesture, a proposal is on its way to you. Number four could be important. Four, six, maybe eight days or weeks from now will be significant. From now or whenever you view this, we have the King of Pentacles, a strong indication that they feel incredibly protective of you. They see you as someone who is generous, devoted and secure, and they really want to treat you like royalty. They want a stable, abundant relationship with you. Um, I think they are focused on building a secure and stable future together. Especially, they want to really take care of the financial aspect. Um, I think they now understand what you want or need from them. That commitment is expressed not just through words, ultimately through actions. Yeah. Now I'm convinced whoever this is, they are wealthy, action-oriented, maybe even workaholic. Uh, they are working on their finances and this is somebody who has a thriving career, but they are deeply in love with you. 
They want to be successful so that they can shower you with luxuries. Uh, they want to be generous with their time and energy. They are not hasty in their decisions. Know that when they do decide, their word and their commitment is gold. Okay? If they are taking time, they are strategically planning to commit in the best possible way. The Three of Pentacles. Yeah, this is teamwork, collaboration and working towards shared goals. It reminds me of that quote. Um, if you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, go together. So I think they are excited to see where this relationship can go and how you can build your future together. This talks about mutual support and deep trust. They feel you are extremely talented and you bring great qualities to the table, which makes this connection better as a whole. They feel you have good chemistry and can make a great team. With you, they feel they are listened to and they feel heard, like you are truly great together as a couple and you are as separate individuals. I genuinely feel they are enthusiastic about taking this connection to the next level, whether it's dating exclusively, getting engaged, or an old flame coming back to commit, or maybe asking you to marry them if you are in an existing relationship. And to end this reading, we have the magician. They feel you are very special and that you might be the one. You stimulate and satisfy them on all levels. Because you see, we have cups and wands and pentacles here. They are charmed and inspired by you. You make them feel magical and because of you, they are confident in themselves and their relationship with you. They have a vision for where you are in their life and a vision for where both of you can go together. Okay? And so they are working on that. They are manifesting a beautiful relationship in reality. If you are single, somebody has fallen head over heels for you and they are eager to take this relationship forward because I feel their feelings go beyond butterflies and initial um, infatuation. I think for a lot of you, you are together yet apart. So there could be a geographical distance, maybe different time zones or um, third party energy like work, family, responsibilities, causing a bit of uncertainty, but they truly feel you are their partner in life and, um, you know, their soulmate. If this is an old flame, their feelings have been reignited and they have an urge to return to you. The grass was not greener on the other side and they miss what they had with you. It's possible that they will reach out to you to make their intentions very clear. For majority, I feel this is your person, okay? You will be together in the future. Um, I'm seeing marriage, kids, long-term commitment. And, you know, you have to realize no relationship is perfect. So if there has been delays, back and forth energy, doubts about their feelings or uncertainty about the future, they are coming in to claim you. They are manifesting you. And the hiccups could have been because of external factors or the universe trying to restore karmic balance, removing everything both of you don't need in your life going forward. So this is a really positive reading and both of you have everything you need to make this happen, okay? A lot of reciprocal energy as well, okay? All right, so I hope this brings clarity to you. This is where I end your reading. Thank you so much for being here and if you enjoy this, if this resonates, please don't forget to like, comment to let me know how this resonates and subscribe if you are new. I will see you in the next reading. I'm sending lots of love and light to you. Take care. Hello group 2. If you chose the silver star, welcome to your reading. So let's find out what are the current feelings of the person on your mind. What are they thinking? And possibly we will also look at their next um, actions towards you.
the page of wands there's a bit of um, immature energy um don't get me wrong this person is feeling passionate about you they are excited by you there's a spark and they're leaning into this energy they feel refreshed when they are around you they are obsessed and utterly infatuated by you they see the potential between the two of you they are super enthusiastic about it but you know that spark can burn too fast so there's also a possibility of burning out yeah i feel this person is more of a dreamer and less of a doer if you are already in a relationship your person is feeling motivated to spice things up in your relationship okay whether it's taking you on dates or getting more wild in the bedroom so the fiery energy right here you can see it all right for some of you i'm seeing somebody from your past is turning on a new leaf on their feelings for you and they want to explore this because they feel there is still potential between the two of you the nine of wands i think your person feels you want to take things slow so they are feeling passionate but but you know healthy boundaries are necessary for successful relationships maybe you have been burnt and hurt in the past so you are always cautious in your relationships and they can sense your energy okay i'm getting a lot of mixed messages all right so so if this is a newer connection um this person feels they are ready to commit and they want to see where things go with you though they are not a hundred percent sure on everything about this relationship they feel they have enough confidence to move forward they want to make this work they know that things will not always be rainbows and sunshine all the time but uh, they want to see this through okay for most of you somebody feels you are worth fighting for and they are willing to make sacrifices for you they see how far you have come together and they will not let it go to waste even if you are distant or not in communication they feel uh, you have faced your share of challenges together before so you can overcome anything that life throws at you this person feels ready to protect you should anything or anyone try to come between the two of you now i don't know if this is their dreamer energy or it's their doer energy so you will know that better but somebody has had a change of heart and they are willing to fight for the two of you again so there's also a strong energy of reconciliation maybe an ex will talk to you soon about giving it another shot and if you are going through a rough patch in your existing relationship they feel they have seen you at your best and at your worst and yet they believe in you they know exactly when to push and when to compromise there's also this energy of feeling defensive so maybe something has happened uh, somebody's hurt it could be a fight leading to the silent treatment you or your person feels emotionally distant from each other or somebody has boundaries and perhaps this is your energy because they know everything has its own challenges nothing is perfectly good or perfectly bad but they are not giving up and what they don't know is whether you feel the same way so they are looking at you from a distance hoping that you fight for them too if you feel they don't value or understand you you have to know they are truly grateful for you and your love you are their dream come true so they were looking for emotional fulfillment and when they found you they knew that you were the one for them in fact they want to show you off to everyone else around them they are excited to see what the future holds for the two of you so meeting you was like having a long time wish fulfilled um if this is an ex they still hold a torch for you and and they are not over your relationship or how it ended 
But if you are together with this person, they feel incredibly happy and content and they feel very close to you right now. Now here's the catch. With the Seven of Swords, this person feels their needs are just as important as yours. And what you do is you put yourself first by, by creating boundaries. If something doesn't go according to your plan or if something is not going in the direction you want. And it makes them wonder if you are as committed to this connection as they are. Now, this could be different things for different people. Um, to give you an example, you could be questioning their faithfulness and now they feel you don't trust them. Maybe they feel they cannot be themselves around you. They have to put on a mask. Or maybe they are concerned. You are not honest about your feelings. It could also be that you ask serious questions about their past or the future and they avoid it or completely ignore it. So you are afraid you will not be happy with this person in the future because they are not truthful or it could even be keeping secrets, lying or cheating for some of you. It may have happened in the past and now it's difficult for you to trust them again. So it seems to me that uh, you or your person thinks one person is being selfish and just too controlling. And I think there could be a high possibility that your present reality or all of this stems from fear or from your or their previous bad experiences in other relationships. In any case, you need an open and honest communication to clear the air. We also have the Eight of Swords. One of you is feeling trapped and restricted. If you see she is blindfolded. So getting out of the situation is not that difficult. But they feel you have something on your mind which is negatively affecting and influencing the success of this relationship. They feel they cannot be honest with you about a particular situation because it may hurt you, you are not ready to give them choices, so they don't want to take responsibility if anything goes wrong. So they feel they would rather be passive than an active participant. They are feeling too scared to do the hard work of communicating their boundaries. They may be feeling you have expectations from them that they cannot meet right now. Maybe you are not ready to talk to them, to give them a chance, a choice to explain themselves. For some of you, I feel they are hoping you will make the decision for them because they are too scared to voice their opinion about something. A particular situation, a particular question, conflict, tension, clash of egos. You know, conflicts and relationships cannot be avoided forever, but we can choose how we deal with conflict, how we handle conflict. We can choose to do this with hostility, or we can choose to do it with grace and kindness, right? So maybe they feel conflicted about this connection. Even here, you can see the energy quite clearly. On one hand, they like you a lot and on the other there could be internal or external circumstances which makes this situation complicated but they are not willing to walk away from you they are hoping everything will work out in the end for some of you especially if this is a newer connection or you are not romantically involved I feel this person is a bit jealous. They are worried that um, they have to compete against other people for your affections. So they need to be reassured that you do like them back. It's not that they are not challenged or intrigued by you. You have given them a lot to think about. Your person loves you and is not willing to let you go. But that being said, they may feel you are holding them accountable 
for something which may not be true. It could be a fragment of your mind. You feel what you believe is right, so they want to make sure you are on the same page. And see here we have the world. Fulfillment. Completion. They feel the two of you need to have a serious talk about what each of you want in the future and if that future can be shared together but maybe you are shutting them out and this is such a positive energy which talks about the completion of a cycle and the fact that the universe has hurt you and your intentions will be manifested back at you they do feel you bring harmony into their life and you complete them when they are with you they feel like they finally belong somewhere they believe you can grow together and, and they know this is right because it just feels right to them. It has been extremely fulfilling for them to be with you and to build your relationship together. Um, there are some things which needs to be cleared up and they are afraid right now. They feel your beliefs and mindset about them or this connection is limited. You are not ready to look at the alternative. So they are a bit hesitant to approach you. They believe you need to talk to each other, take the much needed lessons from their situations and move on from the past. If you are being stubborn, the universe is asking you to reconsider because luck is on your side and it is reminding you that you were in a perfectly harmonious relationship. So this is encouraging you to leave behind negativity and embrace positive changes. So they are ready to leave the past behind and begin building their future. And they are asking you to no longer fight with them. It's okay to let things unfold naturally. And you can see there are two people on the boat. So they are not going anywhere. Even if you don't talk to them, even if you have your back towards them. If one of you were still holding on to past baggage, you will come to a realization that in order for your relationship to move forward, there's a need to let go of the past and invest in the future. Okay? The Wheel of Fortune. Wow. So they feel some kind of karmic connection with you. As if the two of you are fated, you are soulmates. I'm sensing divine intervention. The wheel of life and love is always turning. So if you are going through a hard time now, better times are ahead. This person feels lucky to have met you. True love is shown through consistent actions over time. Not a fleeting feeling, right? So they feel positive about you. You have rocked their world and they are eager to see where this leads. There are going to be unexpected changes in your relationship, but they are hoping you are willing to adapt to these great changes. If this is about an old flame, they need to sort out their hot and cold energy before being ready for a recommitment no matter how amazing your chemistry is together they have to make up their mind so right now this person is up in the air about what a concrete future looks like together but it's possible that they feel you are meant to be i don't see a lot of delays here i'm seeing the next seven days to nine weeks from whenever you watch this, there will be a huge turning point. The universe is bringing in some sort of victory because this is a temporary energy, okay? So you will come out of this energy and, and feel a lot more closer to each other. You will get clarity and a decision is being made. And I think this is going to be really positive, all right? So that is what I have for you. Thank you so much for being here. If this resonates, don't forget to like.
comment to let me know how this resonates and subscribe if you are new. I will see you in the next reading. I'm sending lots of love and light to you. Take care. Hello, group three. If you chose the blue heart, welcome to your reading. So let's talk about the current feelings and thoughts of the person on your mind. Okay, first of all, this person feels intellectually connected to you. They adore your humor and a lot of times communication feels easy with you. But, but I also feel they tend to intellectualize their feelings as well. They enjoy having discussions, but, but at times they are less comfortable with emotional um, confrontations or discussions. So whenever they have to express themselves emotionally, they may be completely avoidant. They may fear emotional intimacy or you have a good connection with this person because the communication feels good and um, it feels you are compatible. You make each other laugh. and But I think they may be more flighty in nature. Um, I will tell you exactly what that means as we go along. Uh, okay, somebody is hurt because of something and it's affecting your relationship. I feel they think you are too direct or blunt at times, too out in the open with your feelings. So maybe you said something or they could be feeling smothered in some way. And when this happens, they are somebody who is quick to close all lines of communication so they are going to be avoidant they may disappear but they will not tell you what's wrong whoever this is whether it's a new relationship an old flame or an existing relationship they feel you are straightforward when it comes to talking about your feelings but it's not easy for them to show their truth it could be because of fear or their past experiences or something which happened between the two of you and it makes them feel restricted in some sort of way some of you the issue around feeling emotionally vulnerable you know could be mental in nature they could be a gemini libra aquarius for some of you this is an ex and they are unhappy about the breakup but they're too scared to reach out now what i'm seeing here is maybe they have a lot going on in their life and they can't take the initiative in the growth of this connection as much as you want them to and it's not a big issue you know sometimes we feel cornered and trapped and don't want to take major decisions we want to stand in the same place rather than moving on to the next level we just want to go with the flow because it's too much to deal with. So I'm getting this energy of feeling pressured. They want to let life run its course. Basically, they just want things to be the way it is. Okay? And they are unable to share this with you. They don't want to hurt you. Or they don't want you to believe that um, you or this relationship is not important. But maybe they are feeling pressured because of, because of other things in their life. Okay, let me just clarify the devil here. I don't know, I feel an urge to pull out one card to see what this is all about. Because I'm feeling heavy emotions. All right, we have the Ace of Cups. Yeah, so it's not that they are devoid of emotions. And this usually talks about the start of a new relationship or a rekindling of the spark in an existing relationship. 
they do feel the connection you share is deep and meaningful and they are experiencing an overflow of new feelings and emotions towards you. I also feel um, they are having an awakening because they are experiencing a new stage of intimacy, compassion and understanding with you. As I said, this Eight of Swords energy is temporary. For a moment, we are blindfolded and our ability to think or act is influenced by our fears or past traumas or maybe our own limited beliefs. But they feel there is an opportunity for both of you to grow together um, at a very intuitive and spiritual level. They trust you and they see you as a big part of their life. And I'm also seeing somebody is gushing about you to everyone they know. And I don't think you are expecting this. So you could receive an unexpected message of love or a surprise gift. A romantic gesture explaining how sorry they are for behaving immaturely. And I think we are all allowed to sometimes have these moments of complete breakdown or emotional upheavals to get clarity and move towards a new path and i think that is what is happening here i'm sensing a renewed feeling of love for you and it's an amazing feeling they feel they're growing tremendously by being with you especially intellectually and spiritually they want to take this relationship forward so they have spent some time alone and now they have realized there's no one else like you. So they feel really excited. If you are asking about reconciliation as a possibility, the answer is yes. They want to start over with you. In fact, they are feeling addicted to you. They feel this chemistry is out of this world and they are full of desire for you. And, you know, desire is good, but take it to an extreme and it, it kills loving relationships, right? So if this is a newer connection, they feel highly sexually attracted to you. There's a sense of lust and desire for instant gratification. But if you are together for a while with the Ace of Cups and the Eight of Swords and the Devil, this person feels codependent. On one hand, they find you addictive and intoxicating. Perhaps you two have amazing chemistry. But on the other, with codependency, it often means feeling afraid to speak up for themselves, for their own needs, and not wanting to develop an independent side outside of this relationship. And that's why you or they are feeling trapped. For some of you, other people are invested in your relationship much more than they should be, which is causing a lot of friction in your relationship. Alright, certainly I can see the highs and the lows in the way they are thinking or feeling about you. You can see it right here. Of course, they are tempted to be with you and they are wildly attracted to you. But there are deeper conflicts related to their freedom or wanting to do things their own way, having their own space and catering to their needs, which they feel um, could be considered a bit selfish if they are thinking about themselves. It may upset you. I don't know if you feel that way, but that's what they think, okay? And this talks about victory, which can be yours. So you can see they go from positive to negative, then positive, and then negative again. But I feel they are genuinely manifesting success with you. They think very highly of you and admire you deeply. You bring out the best in this person and they know it. They feel confident, elevated, and inspired by you. They also believe in the future of your relationship. I think for some of you, you or your person, you have been working together towards something um, in your own lives, but it is going to 
have a major impact in your relationship? For instance, it could be a long distance relationship, but both of you are working towards relocating or maybe moving in together. For some of you, it could be buying a home or success in your career, a promotion, something which is coming to fruition and that is going to act as a catalyst for a new beginning, a new cycle in your relationship. I feel they may be more receptive to you than usual. It's all about honest communication and, you know, being kind to each other. So whoever this is, they feel if there's such a thing as a dream relationship, this would be it. When they are with you, this person feels like their best and most authentic self. They do remember all the good times you have together and they are thinking about you positively. Yes, we have the three of wands. So they are looking forward to the future. They see a potential and they are future oriented. So they have a vision or they are making a plan. They see you fitting within their life plan and they want to create a future together with you. And maybe in the past, they were unable to make this decision and now they're feeling very sure about it. Not only do they see the potential in your relationship, but they are also committed to making it work. They are focused on creating a strong foundation for lasting commitment. They're not just concerned with having fun in the here and now. They want to know that they are doing the right things to build a strong relationship with you for the long term. They want to communicate everything from the big picture to the smaller details and they are thinking about making a larger commitment whatever that might be for you so if you have expectations from someone who is hot and cold or somebody you have hooked up with a few times who has a casual approach then this is not them this is somebody who is thinking about the future long term they see value in growing together. The Empress, yes. So they feel a life with you is full of abundance. You care deeply about them and you are generous. They feel inspired to actively give because they feel they will receive anything they give back and they want to nurture you too. Yeah, so this person is feeling deeply affectionate towards you and, and they also desire you on a physical and sexual level. They feel you are the one who can manifest their dreams into a reality, whether it's pregnancy or starting a new phase of their life. Any relationship with you is destined for abundance and growth. And I feel your tenderness and loving commitment makes them want to be by your side. This connection is moving into a deeper phase, which means they want to take the next step, whether that is engagement or marriage, or saying they love you, wanting to have a child, moving in together, being your boyfriend or girlfriend. And you know, the Empress is one of the best cards for marriage. They feel you would make a great parent and a wonderful life companion. Yes, committing to someone as loving as you is a no-brainer for your person. And for some of you, they may even talk to their mother about you. Okay? I feel this time they are feeling determined to show you that they love you. They are willing to put in the hard work. They want to show through their actions that they love you. They are willing to be patient and dedicated. There's this energy that work has been keeping them busy. They are creating or building something or they are very close to achieving their goal. You know, this is a really beautiful energy. They have high standards for themselves when it comes to the relationship. They want to be perfect. They don't want to let you down. Uh, so they are constantly looking for ways to better themselves and this connection. They are thinking a lot about you, even dreaming, and it's making them anxious. Uh, this is also somebody who is really critical of themselves. 
so they are feeling insecure about themselves and are constantly finding fault in what they are doing. Uh, their fears and anxiety could be internal or maybe uh, they are thinking about the future, making plans um, and it is making them paranoid. But I do think they miss you. Well, I'm sensing they feel there's something um, telepathic between the two of you. They are intuitively drawn to you. Call it soulmates or twin flames or whatever you will, but uh, they feel bonded with you. Your presence is calming. You are wise. They feel balanced and at peace when they are around you. They feel you think they are slow to act, but they feel they do not always have to take action and find the next distraction. And you know, this energy represents the feeling of having met somebody who is going to change your life. So that's what they feel for you. If you are asking what they feel about commitment, will they propose? Is your relationship headed for commitment? Or are you more than just a hookup? To answer your question, they know that your relationship together is significant. They will trust their instincts. However, I feel they may move slowly and not at the pace that you prefer. Okay? And the Nine of Cups. So this is wish fulfillment. You are their dream come true and they're grateful for you. They were looking for emotional fulfillment and they feel loved by you. They want to celebrate all of life's victories with you. Their wish fulfillment in terms of love. Number three and nine are important. So in terms of how your situation is going to change, the next nine days to three weeks will bring in a lot of clarity because they feel incredibly happy and content. They feel very close to you. So whatever they have planned or are thinking, um, they want to communicate openly and honestly. I'm seeing the female or the feminine energy is being honored or she has an upper hand. So some form of communication or offer is coming in and it's going to be positive. Yeah, they feel they're blessed to have you in their life. They clearly see you in their future and they are ready to move this relationship forward. They are coming prepared. A man with a plan. So I think the ball will be in your court. It's all up to you. Alright? I think that is where I should end your reading. Thank you so much for joining in. I hope this reading gives you hope and clarity about the future and about this person. So if you like the reading, don't forget to like. Comment to let me know how this resonates and don't forget to subscribe if you are new. I would love for you to be a part of this amazing community. I'm sending lots of love and light to you. Take care.